Happy New Year, YouTubers. Thank you for tuning into my channel. Out of all the channels on YouTube, you chose to stop by mine. And I want to humbly thank you for that. I am going to do some faces for the New Year's. And so that means I'm working tonight. Um, I'm going looking a mess, as you can see. Um, but there's a way to fix that. So this tutorial is just basically a get up and a go type of tutorial. My eyebrows are not done because I want them to grow in because I want to start a new arch. And also my hair is not did. I have not locked my hair or maintenanced my hair because um, I don't want to do it too often. So I'm just going to put together something. This is a look that I wore the other night at a um, a little gathering. I was a casting assistant for um, a series, a web series called OsirisTheSeries.com. If you haven't checked it out, please check it out. It stars my acting coach, Brad James. He also is on For Better For Worse, Tyler Perry's For Better For Worse. He plays Todd, the annoying intern. Um, and he's on Twitter, at Mr. Brad James. So yes, that's my shout out, my one shout out for the um, tutorial. But yeah, check that out, OsirisTheSeries.com. It is a great web series. It's like True Blood meets um, true blood meets greatness, I guess you could say. It's just, you need to check it out, alright? I'm sorry, it's series.com. But, um, moving on, I'm going to start my tutorial. I'm going to speed up some areas for time's sake. And so, yeah, this is going to be a hat day. Um, definitely can't, uh, let nobody see this woolly mammoth stuff going on right here. And, um, let's get started. I actually have already wash my face this is my favorite cleansing oil called um, DHC deep cleansing oil and you can get it from DHCcare.com and I have already uh, moisturized my face with Nivea cream my favorite cream moisturizer and so now I'm going to start with the concealing part let's conceal up some um, areas on the face that are kind of like but I'm going to go from eh to oh girl, you you definitely made that work. Alright, so let's get started. It's going to start off with Max NC45 Concealer. And normally, I will put this on with a concealer brush. But sometimes I don't want to do a concealer brush. I want to use a wedge. These MAC wedges are the bomb. So I'm going to conceal. The next step is my Mary Kay Bronze 504 Foundation. I love this foundation. Mary Kay has great foundation for women of color. So if you don't have a foundation you don't like, if you have a foundation that you don't like, I highly suggest Mary Kay. Go to MaryKay.com, find who, out who your local representative um, is. Um, okay, so next I'm going to use my Sephora foundation brush. And this is a cool brush. So I'm just going to um, put my foundation on there. And just put it on areas around my face and then start blending. The key is to blend. Make sure you get in the hairline area. And one note, um, when I use my foundation brush, I have a couple brushes because I use this brush to get around areas that are, you know, you just need to have your own personal foundation brush. I get around the mouth and I do this, you know, and I get up in this area right here. And, you know, it just, you just want to, you know, take 
precaution in every precautionary me measure to be sanitary and um, makeup artistry so I do have more than one foundation brush but this Sephora one is mine personal on my personal brush and then I have other um, brushes that I use on my clients and then when I want to get around their mouth their mouth I have these wedges I have wedges that you know specifically I go around this and then they're disposable I can throw them away so that's a little tip for me to you that you want to be as sanitary and clean as possible when doing this because you all know what people you just don't know where they mouth be in, you know what I'm saying? You don't know, you all up in here, and then you go and put this on the next person, and then you got cross-contamination. We don't want cross-contamination, that's nasty. Bam. So the next step, I'm going to use Max Prep and Prime. This sets the foundation, and it's very, very fine. You don't want to use a lot. I'm going to take my Sephora um, powder brush, and I'm just going to dip it in and tap, tap, tap. And you just want to put it on the main areas such as your cheeks, your nose area, forehead, chin. You don't want to get crazy with this. This just merely is to set it. If you put too much, it's going to look a, a hot set mess, basically. Next, we're going to use NYX's liquid eyeliner, and this is in black. I want to give myself a wing to have like a cat eye. All right. If you get some, if you get some eyeliner or lip eyeliner in here, don't worry about that. I have Mary Kay's makeup eye remover. You just put that on a Q-tip and um, just get up in here like that. Next, I'm going to go over that NYX liquid eyeliner and I'm going to use Wet n Wild's cream liner in black and like this. I got this from CVS drugstore here in Atlanta. However, you can get this from um, Walgreens or you can get it from Dwayne Reed, which is up top. And I'm going to use an e.l.f. Eyes, Lips, Face um, from Target angle brush. And I'm just going to do a little dip it in here like that. So I have my winged eye and um, under my waterline I'm going to use NYX's just a regular black liner. So next I'm going to contour my face. This is by Clean Color. And this is called Rich Cocoa. And it's a pressed powder. And I'm going to take my angle brush, which is by Cala. And I'm going to dip and make sure you tap. And I like to do this to find my cheekbone. And you want to put it a little bit like right here. All right, once I do that, I'm going to use my Nika, N-I-C-K-A.
And then I'm going to throw on some mascara, and this is just by Maybelline, I believe. And again, this look is for when you just want to go out and um, not get too jazzed up. I'm not going to even put on any eyelashes. I usually put on eyelashes when I got my full eyes in full effect. Okay, so now we're going to go on to the lips, and I'm going to use NYX's Pinky. And the next item is MAC lipstick called Costa Chic. Costa Chic. Um, my chick, chick. It's sign. Costa sign. Um, frost. You know. <laughs> I wonder if we all put our lipstick on like that. Like Wanda from Living in Color. How you doing? <laughs> you so crazy. I think I want to have your baby. Yeah, but um, that's not what I really want to be doing. I just want to put my lipstick on a regular way. And then this is uh, Enchantress by MAC. And I'm going to put that on top. And just blot a lot, a little bit. Um, and then I'm going to brush out these woolly mammoths of some eyebrows of mine. And you are finished but not quite finished because you gotta put your ghetto girl earrings on so I'm gonna put my ghetto girl earrings on my three dollar earrings from Harlem got them from the street vendor in Harlem and so I'm gonna got them on one two fifth and see it all comes together basically and then I just have on a basic G.I. Joe t-shirt. G.I. Joe, real American hero. Yeah, I'm so old. Yeah, um, I'm going to just throw on a pashmina. And you can do this several ways. You know, you can, you can whoop-de-whoop it up here like that. And, um, you know, but I usually wear mine like this. And put it around like that. Make sure my hair comes out. And then the last step is, girl, you better cover up that head. You better cover up that head. You better throw your hat on. And um, the hat makes it all complete. But please make sure if you have them, if you're rocking eyebrows like mine, let's make sure you cover them up. For real, because you will get talked about. And then you gotta throw on your rings, and I gotta throw on a purple ring because my Ravens play tomorrow, so I gotta represent for them. My boy, my Ravens got my purple one, and I'm gonna throw on a hot pink ring. And some these are just from a local beauty supply store, so that's it. You know what I'm saying? Thank you for watching. Get your hat on, get your cuteness on under your hat. Um, but trust and believe under this hat it's a hot mess but you don't have to let people know that so that is why I did this tutorial you don't always have to put on the eyelashes and everybody does their tutorials with the nice arched eyebrows and stuff you know what I'm saying let's do something for the chicks who don't got their eyebrows did alright so that's me right now alright but um trust and believe that I will be getting them done all right so i'm having some makeup issues i see some makeup on my teeth my some lipstick in my teeth so what you want to do is just want to take a tissue and you want to just blot and then it comes off like that blot and then you won't have that issue all right so thank you for tuning in to my channel danny chick flyer mua um please feel free to email me if you have any questions danny chick fly girl faces at gmail.com i'm also on beautylish um dot com under danny chick fly girl faces i believe i am i also have a website 
dannychickflygirlfaces.com. It's under construction. Life's been a little bit busy, but it's still up. And um, that's it. Twitter. I'm on Twitter at Danny Chick. And um, thank you. Thank you for tuning in. I appreciate it. Please feel free to rate, comment, and subscribe. All right. Have a happy, happy new year. 2012 is a year of greatness and your year to be powerful. All right. Our year to be powerful. Thank you.